first you need to find the if you have a table student and here id name email address for the table you have to create a bean class first some package beans create a class bean class public class student student bean with the private variables private int id private string name email address along with public setter and getters after bean creation start a dao interface package dao package dao public class student to dao interface it should be interface create first one interface in this interface all the required maximum possible methods along with bean signatures we need to create first coming to this save method after doing save operations usually we used to return int value save with signature student in case if it is a jdbc there is a chance to get exceptions compile time exceptions so keep exception in signature save method public boolean update same student public boolean delete and find methods public student find by primary key into primary key id in case of primary key there is a chance to get only one single record here if id is primary key means only unique key right one if i enter here the same one or same triple one i should not enter again so if i pass a primary key by using primary key if you want to find records how many records we can expect only one single record in case by using primary key if you want to find records there is a chance to get only one single record but if it is non primary key let's say by using name if you want to find records here no chance to get duplicate id but there is a chance to get duplicate name in case if you have a duplicate name here at gmail at ymail at jmail hyd sikindrabad samajak okay in case duplicate names if you have then there is a chance to get find by name if you want to get string name by using name if you try to fetch there is a chance to get how many records multiple records we may get so list of student records you may get here and in case by using find by email by using email if you want to fetch records email should be unique so if it is unique you can expect only one single record and in the same way find by address in one single address there is a chance to get multiple students so list of students for find by address string address all the required possible methods we need to take here and finally find all list of students find all these are the maximum possible methods on this single table is there any chance to call any other methods that's it these are the possible methods save update delete find by primary key find by name find by email find by address find all these are the maximum required crud operations on one single table and after this dio interface you need to provide dio implementation now for this interface you need to provide implementation you need to provide implementation here now this implementation can be using 
by using what we can implement simple JDBC we can go through Spring JDBC or else that implementation can be with Hibernate or by using Spring ORM or else you can go through JPA, Ibatics ok any implementation you can do here now by using JDBC if you want to implement this DAO by using JDBC if you want to implement this DAO part here simple JDBC for anything connection pool is recommended first so here package DAO implementations yeah, DAO implementation public class student to DAO implementation implements student to DAO interface so must all these methods we need to implement here while providing implementations so from those one of those one implementation is into save in this save the signature is student along with throws exception in the same way the remaining implementations also must you need to provide here all these implementations must we need to do here for doing simple save operation by using simple JDBC by using simple JDBC if you want to do save operation here you should not write this type of code here class dot for name loading driver and you should not get connection here directly by using driver manager this is not recommended actually then what we should do we have to create pool by using that pool object we need to get connection so actually pool objects we can create by using basic data source or else you can create by using combo pool data source from where by using your spring xml file you can create it in your spring xml file create connection pool object by using simple basic data source if you want to create connection pool just you just create bean id basic data source bds object class name basic data source this basic data source given by apache so by using this apache implementation class you can create connection pool in this class in this basic data source class they given setter methods set driver class name set url set username set password set max active connections and set some wait time for users so the type of methods we have here so by calling that setter methods from here property name driver class name pass that driver class value here like rkill dot jdbc dot rkill driver and one more property property name url url value jdbc colon rkill colon thin localhost 1521 xc and the remaining connection properties property name user name value system and one more property value password value something password then here you can set property we have one pro property here max active connections how many maximum connections you require you can configure that max active connections number here value I required up to 15 maximum connections and minimum idle connections in case if no user interacting with application at least five connections need to be there under full and here max wait time we have one set max wait value like 1000 into 5 5 seconds user need to wait in case connection is busy then after connection pool can serve if any connection if it get from user then that connection it can serve within 5 seconds within 5 seconds if it not get it will throws connection timeout connection pool timeout so by using this basic data source you can create a connection pool object then this connection pool object you need to consume in this DAO class so to use that 
connection pole in this DO class, we need to do what? Dependency injection here. We need to do dependency injection of connection pole object into this DO implementation class. So here to inject this connection pole implementation, here take one reference private data source. Parent class reference use here. Data source is parent for all the implementations. Use data source reference here and write a setter method. Then do this basic data source dependence injection into DAO implementation. Create on DAO implementation class object and inject into DAO implementation. Here you need to have all the implementations and create bean bean ID DAO class name student to DAO implementation class into that implementation class there is one dependency property ds pass the ds reference here basic data source reference bds then now by using that injected bds reference how to get connection here it will create up to 15 connections in pool from that 15 connections if you want to retrieve a connection just you have to call ds dot get connection method ds dot get connection it will return as connection then by using this connection you can do required insertions finally return integer return value for updations you can do updations by using prepared statements or statements for delete we know right by using connection how to make if you get simple JDBC connection by using that JDBC connection, we know how to do the JDBC programming. So finally here our goal is what? We need to get a connection from connection pool. So we are getting connection from connection pool. So after completion of your executions, finally you should do this connection dot close. So this statement is for open connection. This statement is for closing connections. Every connection you must need to again close after completion of your operations after getting connection here you can do required operations finally you must need to place that connection into pool okay and this implementation by using spring jdbc if you want to do you know plain jdbc then you can do implementation here by using spring jdbc if you want to do this implementations and in this spring jdbc they given one class you can note it the class name is JDBC template in this JDBC template class here they given methods set data source in this JDBC template class they given methods set data source they given method update to execute simple SQL operations and here they given methods query for int query for int with integer return value query for float with float return value query for double with double return value they given multiple methods here query for methods and in these methods the important methods query for object actually this query for object will return our required type like student object if you require student object only it will return so that query for object method and there we have one query for map query for list ok multiple methods they given for doing all the basic CRUD operations for doing all the basic CRUD operations here they given methods update query for list query for int query for double Okay, query for object, query for map, query for list, multiple methods we have here. In these methods, the first one is for what? The first one is for connection. First one is for connection pool. So, first JDBC template class, it have one dependency. A JDBC template if you want to use for Spring JDBC implementations, JDBC template, it have one dependency. The dependency what? A connection pool. So after injecting connection pool object into this JDBC template, 
then that JDBC template you can use for implementations part here. So how to use JDBC template for implementations? Here, instead of using data source, you can go through JDBC template. Private JDBC template dependency. In case of Spring JDBC implementations. JDBC template, JD. Now by using that JDBC template, If you want to do programming here, in case of plain data source, what actually we have to do here? We have to open a connection, we have to execute statements, finally we have to close the connection. So, some three statements we need to execute, right? One is open connection, execute SQL, close connection. Open connection, execute SQL statements and finally close the connection. By using JDBC template what we can do? Actually to do any operations by using JDBC template first it have one dependency the dependency is data source so first you need to inject into JDBC template you need to inject first data source JDBC template JDBC template it have one dependency the dependency name data source so the data source dependency injection you should do here JDBC template it have one dependency property the property name is data source data source into this data source we have to pass which reference any data source implementation we can pass right so here we have one basic data source implementation pass that reference here bds basic data source 